I want to be, if I can, as sure of the world, the real world around me, as is possible. Now, you can only attain that to a certain degree, but I want the greatest degree of control. I don't, I've never involved myself in narcotics of any kind. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Because that can easily just fuzz the edges of my rationality, fuzz the edges of my reasoning powers, and I want to be as aware as I possibly can. That means uh, giving up a lot of uh, fantasies that might be comforting in some ways, but I'm willing to give that up in order to live in an actually real world, as close as I can get to it. During the 1980s, I entered a world that I found filled with fantasy and rife with abuse, the world of faith healing. I developed a special interest in a television evangelist named Peter Popoff. God told me, he said, you smite that cancer with your fist. At the time, Popoff was pulling in nearly $4 million a year healing people on his miracle crusades. You've got cancer of the stomach? Are you ready for God to burn that cancer out? Here it goes in the mighty... Devil, back off. Back off, devil! Ooh. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do you really believe you're healed? Yes. Do you think your cancers are gone now? Yes, I believe that, because God never lies, and we stand in His Word. Praise the Lord. I tell you, from now on, you're going to have a soul of victory in your heart. Amen. To his followers, Popoff seemed to have divine powers. As, is it Gould, Alice Gould? He knew their names. Stand up, Alice. As well as the afflictions they'd come to cure. God is touching that thyroid condition right now. God is touching your nerves right now. God is touching your eyes. Just lift up your hands, get ready, here it comes. He also knew the personal details of their lives. Hear good news from Charles before everything is over. I'll tell you, he's going to be completely delivered because of your prayers, because of your faith. Here it comes, complete healing in Jesus. Ooh, mighty name right now, right now, right now. Amen. It's all right to praise the Lord. I suspected that Popoff's revelations were other than divine. The radio scanner we brought to the hall picked up a decidedly worldly source. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Popoff was being prompted by his wife through a wireless earpiece. John? Do you leave Johnson? She'd gotten her information from prayer cards filled out by the faithful before the show began. She wants to get rid of the walker. You want to get rid of this walker, sister? Oh, glory. How long have you been walking on that walk? About three years. Three years. She lives at 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street? Is that right? That's right. She has arthritis all over. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. Take a few steps just to make the devil mad. Hallelujah. That's it. Just move around a little bit. There she goes. Just walk with me. Oh, glory to God. She's not going to need that walker anymore. God's just putting new strength, new health. Burning that arthritis out of her body. Just keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was able to arrange for another broadcast of the Miracle Crusade on The Tonight Show. But this time, the wireless prompting was included. In 1987, Peter Popoff declared bankruptcy. Greater is he! Greater is he! 